They are performance artists of self-parody. Four stiff Teutonic robots standing behind drum machines and sequences, pushing buttons and singing things like Wir fahren, fahren, fahren auf der Autobahn. And it's more fun to compute as if the Beach Boys had been reimagined from broken memory by German androids thousands of years in the future. On stage, they match or exceed the commitment of later musical theatrical acts they inspired like the Blue Man Group. Kraftwerk may be the most German of contributions to popular culture since Wagner. For all their computerized industrial campiness, they really did come from the future or they either anticipated or invented it, depending on your point of view. Kraftwerk, meaning power station, essentially created the sonic blueprint from which the British new romantic and techno pop movements arose and provided the essential technology for much of hip hop. In addition to birthing Depeche Mode and Soft Cell's synth pop and the smooth robo-funk of Africa Bombada's seminal planet rock, the band built the architecture of post-funk techno, acid house, and Brit pop with the experiments throughout the 70s and 80s, including the infamous Autobahn. Kraftwerk began as two long-haired students, Ralph Hutter and Florian Schneider, who met in Düsseldorf in 1969, playing experimental music with electric, acoustic, and electronic instruments, and with a variety of musicians, including guitarist Michel Rotha and drummer Klaus Dinger. In Dinger's pounding, repetitive drumming, they found their mechanic sound as early as 1970, but had not yet transitioned into pop or the clean cut suit and tie look until fully absorbing the influence of British artists Gilbert and George and receiving the guidance of super producer Connie Plank. The early incarnation of Kraftwerk along with others so-called early crowd rock groups like Can and especially Rotha and Dinger's usually influential, if obscure, in German, Neu, in English, New, created the scaffolding for bands from Joy Division to Suicide to Sonic Youth to Stereo Lab, and the hundreds and hundreds of bands those bands inspired. The driving motoric beat played by Dinger and later by Drum Machine has been described by Brian Eno as one of the three great beats of the 70s, next to Clyde Stubblefield's funk and Tony Allen's Afrobeat. But the band's other song-oriented elements are just as influential for different reasons. In Autobahn, they use a more typical beat, slow to a leisurely cruise. Their deadpan Sprechgesang over an entirely synthesized pop composition set the template for generations. They were the first band to embrace modern technology, not only in the instruments they played, but in the subject matter of their songs. William Cook writes at The Spectator, who argues that the pro-face crowd rockers have become the most influential pop group of all time. Now, William Cook argues that Kraftwerk did more to shape modern music than anything since the Beatles. And the idea he shares with many other critics, such as the LA Times, Randall Roberts, who names 1977's Trans Europe Express as the most important pop album of the last 40 years. I have a story um, back in 78, 
A friend of mine in Brownsville, New York, Brooklyn, invited my brother and I over to his house for a music listening session. He wanted to present us some new music that he was into. Pull out an album cover for some gentlemen looking dapper, European men, four to be exact. They were dressed like they were going to the prom. Odd name called Kraftwerk. I asked him, what kind of name is that? He said, well, they're a German band. I said, okay, Kraftwerk. So we, we proceeded to listen, my brother and I, as he put on the first track entitled Trans Europe Express. As the track began to play, the, he played the first one called Trans Europe Express. It built very incrementally with synthesizer sounds and ambience I've never heard before. And then the drums kicked in. It didn't sound acoustic, so I noticed immediately that it was a, a drum machine. So I noticed that it was a machine for sure. So we listened with our jaws open or dropped if you may we were like wow and then a vocoda voice kicked in in a computer form and we were like holy moly the guy went on to sing trance Europe express like a robot Anyway, we were intrigued by the ambience of the sound sonically, what we were hearing. And knowing the fact that these guys were coming from Germany was even more fascinating. They later followed that up with a song called Numbers from a, a subsequent album that they did. Then I knew that these guys were someone to look out for. I knew they were a force to be reckoned with. So I don't see it as a coincidence, quite frankly, serendipity that I ended up traveling and working musically in Europe, Dusseldorf, Cologne, and the different areas in North Westphalia, in Europe here in Germany. So I ended up working the music scene here as well. So I love that juxtaposition that my life somehow intertwines with theirs. And what I loved about the influence of the group is that it really influenced hip hop, a genre that I was very well much part of seeing how that developed. When I heard Africa Bambada's Planet Rock, I knew exactly where he, that came from, where it derived from so I'm very proud to be a part of that musical history and that I've seen that visually and heard it sonically from the roots of it all with that being said thank you for watching and thank you for listening remember Stay humble and stay hungry. And I'll catch you on the next one.